A raised to the power of 0 equals 1. Any number raised to the power of 0 equals 1. You may have learned this you know, thing in your class or maybe somewhere else. But do you know why that's true? No, intuitively, this doesn't really make sense. I mean, when I first encountered it, I was like, bro, 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 A times 0 equals 0. But, you know, like, this look the same, but this is different. Man. This is, come on, this is different. This is exponents we're talking about. But, but, thanks, you know, like, the courtesy to the you know, mathematical gods, we have a very, very simple proof with, you know, to you know, prove that this is true. Right, and I'm going to show you that proof right here. Okay, and for proving things, we have to have a very distinct mindset. We have to assume things. We have to make things simpler. Okay, so for the simplest, you know, for the sake of simplicity, we're going to assume. Okay, we're going to assume. We're going to let a to the power of zero be b. All right, a to the power of zero equals b. All right, now we'll do a neat little thing. We'll take a to the power of 1. All right. And now, you know that this can also be represented as a to the power of 0 plus 1. Of course, 0 plus 1 equals 1. All right. Now, you know that this, okay, this whole thing, this whole thing can be represented as, let me write it with a different color. Okay. a to the power of 0 multiplied by a to the power of 1. Why is that? Because a to the power of m multiplied by a to the power of n equals a to the power of m plus n. You may have learned this or not if you haven't watched my previous videos. Okay, now you may have already, you know, trying to guess, you know, where this is going, but, you know, let us finish this. Okay, now you know that a to the power of zero is b. So let us replace this with, you know, let's take equals, you know, in this one, we can remove this one, right? Equals b times a, all right? And this a's will get cancelled out. Like, if you, you know, divide it with a to the both sides, okay, this will get cancelled out. And you'll be left with, you know, let me just write it here, b, okay, sorry, 1 equals b. Also, b equals 1, all right? But we know that, you know, b equals a to the power of 0. And what this means, and what this means is that we have done our proof right. Kind of neat, isn't it? We have just proved that a raised to the power of 0 is 1. How? Again, to recap things, we have let, you know, a to the power of 0 be b. We have taken, you know, this number, you know, a to the power of 1 and expressed it a bit differently. And that is the trick. You know, you have to look things in a different way. All right. You know, differently. And we have represented that, that, represented that differently. All right. And we have substituted over the, you know, value of a to the power of zero here. And we've canceled those things. And finally, we've proven that any number raised to the power of zero is one. Cool. Right. You can now surprise your, you know, friends with this trick, you know, this proof right here and show them that who's the boss.